aim of this wonderful forum that you have uh, funded and so gladly and willingly supported is what in very simple words well it is about uh, the important role of science research and studies without how we could develop society if we don't know the cause and science always we look at the cause of the problem mm -hmm. and we try to identify solutions and these solutions mainly practical solutions f ready for implementation not theoretical mm -hmm. that we might try or happened or etc so research is really important with my profession uh, as a geneticist I worked on developing techniques for uh, prevention of genetic disorders uh, which is the technique for uh, diagnosing uh, single gene disorders from single cells uh, the technique called the pre-implantation genetic diagnosis um, I worked on this in the 90s and we helped so many couples who have genetic diseases. We prevented genetic disorders that are fatal, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time we helped these families to enjoy to have normal and healthy children. So this is the importance of research, this is the importance of science mm -hmm. in social development. Um, in many countries, as you may know, like the Mediterranean, they have the issue of uh, thalassemia. Yes. Which, look how this helped, you know, uh, to reduce the death and the economic burden, you know, of uh, supporting thalassemia uh, patient and the uh, suffering and this society is now moving forward mm -hmm. in many countries uh, in the Mediterranean region uh, and other places as well like in Europe cystic fibrosis in Western Europe yes. this is from my point of view about the importance of research uh, for social development there are so many examples as well like whether it is at economic level whether it is at uh, you know sociology as well as you know like if we talk about empowerment of women you know or uh, preventing violence against women it has to come by understanding the culture and we know how to, we should know how to talk to people so research and medicine can have actually an impact also on the environment exactly that is on the mindset exactly. and changing mindset we can change behavior just bringing as an example good nutrition indeed by teaching how uh, women and men can think about giving themselves and then to their family their children proper nutrition mm -hmm. we take care of health by taking care of that we make sure that uh, the less people with uh, health issues disabilities or else the better it is also for the economy of the of the country exactly uh, and uh, at the same time therefore automatically it, it, it enables a world which is sustainable from a health viewpoint as well and where the gaps of inequality are, re are reduced mm -hmm. because if we provide good health mm -hmm. then there are more tools for people women in this case to uh, be really active agents of change in the society exactly. and being active agents the inequality between men and women rich and poor oh, uh, environments if we think of the climate uh, that are mm -hmm. healthier than others all of this actually is contributing to health and therefore reinforces also the efforts of research and medicine to properly sure that the people um, have a high quality of life also from the health viewpoint. Medicine is social development, mm -hmm. health is social development, economy is social development. How we can achieve 
you know, all these sustain, proposed sustainable goals, if we do not have social development, if we do not have social development to respect environment, you know, and to, de you know, to protect it, if we do not have agriculture, mm -hmm. you know, and if we do not have, you know, the um, uh, respect to women, if we do not have the education, if we do not have the value for water and oceans and the climate changes mm -hmm. and so many things so it is all of it social development so all everything women men mm -hmm. children uh, all of it at the end it goes into the social development and as well you know it is important to look at the social development from family point of view Without a family, a good family, we do not have healthy society. You know, family is quite important and unfortunately, the uh, last decades, you know, like they, they ignored the value of families and we start to think about, we want just to empower women. We want, I always say in Women in Science International League, we want highly educated, well knowledgeable women to b mothers mm -hmm. to rebuild societies. Mm -hmm. Without, you know, family, we don't have a society. Mm -hmm. And we do not have development at all. Youth nowadays, they have the privilege of the technology, but they need guidance and mentorship. Mm -hmm. And they need as well to be given the opportunity to be present. Yes. As well, I, I have a problem that everybody talks about disabled. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they keep saying disabled. There are so many disabled people around the world mentally mm -hmm. because they don't think right. Mm -hmm. You know, this is when someone sees the right thing and do the wrong. Mm -hmm. This is the person who is disabled. Mm -hmm. If he knows that this will destroy... Not able to see something. Thing. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But disability is not with mobility or cannot see or cannot hear. Or might have some, some behavioral or, or mental, or mental yes. You know, uh, let's call it disorders yes. rather than, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a disability. You know, um, I always think about the deaf and the blind. Mm -hmm. We are talking yesterday in my remarks, I mentioned about the information that I urge all ministries of information and health to collaborate to establish information, whether websites or booklets, to be available for, you know, uh, people, for, every, people. for everybody uh, to have correct information about yes. health and women's health. So everybody everybody but as well to have it available in braille mm -hmm. for the blind mm -hmm. and to have it f in with the sign language mm -hmm. for the deaf mm -hmm. it is a quite important mm -hmm. to have it for both and I always imagine how if I had a, a deaf patient mm -hmm. how I can explain or communicate, communicate with her or him you know I don't know the sign language. Mm -hmm. Do we have in hospitals uh, sign language interpreters? It's airlines? a matter of safety and, and providing and a good service. service. It's not a matter of charity or uh, Exactly. Else. It is like we are all human beings. Each mm -hmm. one of us is, you know, like anyone could have an accident mm -hmm. that can prevent him or her, the sight, the hearing, you know, the ability to talk, the ability to walk, we Every, need all of these this, things, uh, but yes, when for some reasons we, we have to compensate with other abilities this. if we get a, some kind of disability, mm -hmm. then yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, the value and the dignity stays the same. We just have to provide additional tools if needed uh, to be able to run a life which is plenty of satisfaction and indeed. is productive as well and uh, we can be active. Indeed, and we should work on it, and we should speak loud, and it is, I think, the United Nations is the best to take this over mm -hmm. and f to follow, 
and our hands is with you, you know, with your division. Also older persons, if you mm. allow me, because you mentioned youth, you mentioned the family, of course. and then young people become senior, and therefore, unfortunately or fortunately, but that's part of life, when we get older, often we also develop some kind of new physical challenges. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying applies not only to people with disabilities, mm -hmm. but to anybody, mm -hmm. young, uh, senior or old, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, whatever we can make available in the society to create a, a society that is accessible and mm -hmm. usable by all. Indeed. We can have difficulties in reading, hearing, moving around or having other, other needs um, by making sure that research and medicine and also some other forms of healing uh, that Indeed. are spiritual work together in a holistic approach and then the world listens to these messages and understands how powerful they can be to make a better world for all, a world that is also socially sustainable and not only economically sustainable or from the environment viewpoint, then I think that we have achieved our, our goal, that mm -hmm. is to put people at the center. Yes, indeed. This is without uh, the people, they are uh, with the dignity, respect to themselves and to others. If a person has dignity and he can feel it, any person, whether he or she, old or young, then I think we will be developing and moving forward. See, in Latin we say, mens sana in corpore sano. It means a healthy mind is in a healthy body, and vice mm -hmm. versa. So when medicine, research, people, feel healthy, not necessarily healthy in terms of being fit, but they feel well. Mm -hmm. By feeling well, they feel in peace. Indeed. And music as well, and arts, contribute to feeling in peace with ourselves. Yes, and indeed. since I know that you are a supporter of peace, yes, I, I am. think that medicine and research Such can also cancer. promote peace. Indeed, because as a doctor or as a scientist, we in any medical place, a doctor will treat even his own enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, it, this is peace. A scientist, when you are in a scientific lab, mm -hmm. you will not even think about the person's origin, ethnic, ethnicity mm -hmm. or uh, religion. All what you look at, where did he graduate from? Yes. What did he do? How I'm going to collaborate yes. with? And this is the common thing that science brings us all together. In peace. in peace. Thank you very much for Thank this you. wonderful interview. Thank, Thank you very much indeed. It's a great pleasure.